Hey, what's going on, folks? Real quick, I just got off of a team training uh, uh, hangout with some of my students and team members, some people who I'm training and helping make a lot of money on the internet and grow their, their business as entrepreneurs. You know, and I, I, I always and oftentimes think about my journey and what it really took for me to get to where I'm at, and especially the power of mentorship and, and getting guidance and, and gaining wisdom and seeking information and knowledge. Because I legitimately am a, uh, have an eighth grade education. You know, I dropped down in ninth grade. Um, all the statistics were, uh, for me, were pointing in the direction of um, dead or in prison, for God's sakes. I mean, they certainly weren't pointing in the direction of building multiple companies, earning millions of dollars, and doing tens or hundreds of millions of dollars in sales. Uh, they were pointing in the direction of, of uh, you know, uh, ended up dead or in prison. And And that's not because I'm a bad person. It's just because... Some of the decisions that I made because I did not have the right mentorship and I was uh, growing up in, as a teenager and got hanging out with the wrong crowds and uh, just had to go down my journey, uh, you know, that was just where I ended up. But because of along the way, um, seeking certain mentors, getting certain experience, gaining certain wisdom, being a knowledge addict, you know, I was able to discover certain things that most eighth grade, you know, educated people aren't able to discover. And I really truly believe that formal education will make you a living and self-education will make you a fortune. And that was a famous quote that was uh, said by Jim Rohn. And uh, it's been rephrased many times by many different people. But uh, the power of self-education, the power of books, the power of mentorship, the power of seeking knowledge and wisdom is priceless. There, you cannot, you cannot replace that with anything, not a classroom, not anything that you pay for. And if you're going to pay for education, you might as well pay for education that is not filtered through somebody else's agenda, right? And oftentimes, one of the beautiful things about living in America, if you do live in America, or at least having the internet, is you can seek information, you can seek mentors, you can pull up YouTube, you can watch videos on YouTube or Facebook from people who have done what you want to do, and who you can potentially connect with or pay to connect with to fast track your success. One of the best investments you can make, and this, I'm going to leave you with this quote, I want you to ponder on this, I want you to, to marinate on this, your best investment that you will ever make is not your house, it's not your car, it's not your boat, it's not even your children's education, it is your education. Because the more educated you are, the better you're going to be able to be to help people around you make powerful decisions that are best for them. And then passing that on, that experience to your children, to people around you, that they are their best investment. Whether that is through investing in coaches or mentors, I mean, every single time, I'm doing something in life. Even my wife and I are giving birth here. Now, of course, I'm not, but my wife is. In about three months, we have doulas. We have birth coaches. We're going to classes because the power of investing in somebody, the power of having somebody say, look, I've done this a million times. This is how you should do it is price. Less. And some people have too much pride and some people have too much ignorance. And some people will just never be exposed to this level of thought, right? Because they're too, um, they're too pessimistic. They're too negative. They don't think it's, it'll happen for them. They're lazy, whatever. But if you have any inkling of motivation to want to grow and to become wealthy and to become free and to, to grow and to grow your knowledge, then you're your best investment. Um, those books, those those hangouts, those webinars, those videos that you watch when you're sitting here listening to me, growing, expanding your mind, best investment that you'll ever make. Keep doing it, even when it gets frustrating, even when it thinks, feels like it's a waste of time. I've been there. I've felt like that. Keep going because if you're struggling and if there's pain, that means that you're growing. So don't stop.